mean, that's not too flat. I don't think it's a puncture. I think it is, George. To fill you in, we're not really allowed to do anything to these bikes if they break. But we're going to a cycle shop to see if they can just pump it up because we think that's okay, that's not bending the rules. We're going to see if they can do anything. If they can't, B's father is going to drive one of the spare bikes down from Yorkshire, which is amazingly kind of him. Uh, but yeah, it's a fine line because we don't, we, we can, we think maybe pumping it up will be okay, but we think it might be an actual puncture, so. Uh, Oh, we'll see, we'll see. We can just wait. If you think it's just not worth, not it. worth it. We well, just yeah, want to... Let's have a go and see if we can do it without doing too much. Yeah, we don't want to do too much damage, but if... If you think that you can fix it, then... My friend Pork has come to join us. And there he is, the mighty Pork Pie. He's also grown a beard, which is... Um, that's something new to me. Sorry about all this. Are you Thank you. Nice to um, it's, it's... It is as expected. It's, it's going to be pretty difficult to fix. Uh, I'm sorry, Santa, there about this. We're very happy to pay the consequences, but we just... I can't quite face getting... Bee's father to come down with a whole new bike. That's just, that's just silly, isn't it? Uh, inner tubes out. So I think the answer seller. We're fixed. That does actually sound like it. We're fixed. These guys are geniuses. Simply cannot believe it. They fixed it. They were amazing. They used their cunning, their skill, their craftsmanship. And they fixed the tire. Feels like a new bike. Feel like I've got a motor on my bike. It's so good. Ah, oh, praise the Lord. And we're still thinking we could be on track to get to Hereford. Hopefully, hopefully. We've done half a mile. Three o'clock. Because we haven't done a slow start. George is too large for his bike. Don't zoom in on my face. Made absolutely glorious progress. We're in Ludlow, just finishing up lunch. 27, 28 miles to Hereford. Easy as you like. Just appreciate what is going on here. The farmer wants to get into his field. Oh no! I mean, there is so much water. This is just nuts. Basically what I wanted to say was we ever so slightly broke the rules with this um, little bag. We just made a little small adjustment and now he's, he's back on the road. Yes sir! What a day. Not, not much happens this evening. Not much happens any evening. We just eat and then go to sleep and that's it. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Thirteen? Twelve? What day? Thirteen. It's very misty, like very misty. And a lot of hills. That's pretty much all we've been experiencing. I mean, look at that mist. Look at that. Can't see anything. Like, literally nothing. I don't know if you can see that. Our bikes are feeling particularly heavy today, which kind of sucks. But anyway. And also we haven't had breakfast, which also sucks, so... An interesting start to the morning. So we managed to find somewhere for breakfast and because we were so starving because we'd already done an hour and a half we demolished a full English. I did not have toast. We had toast. I demolished a full English. And now we're headed towards the Severn Bridge. This is supposedly when our day starts getting very hilly but it's been hilly already so we've got a fun day ahead. It's still very misty. It's just like nothing weather. Like nothing happens in this weather. It doesn't rain, it's not that cold, it's not that hot. It's just misty, isn't it? Anyway. It's very mysterious. Nice, very funny.
So the last time I did this, this was much more beautiful because it was sunny and... But we've just come down to this river, which is pretty cool. It looks like poo. It does look like poo a little bit. We're approaching the Severn Bridge! We're about to get to my favourite city in the North England. But I might think differently after I've done some of the hills around there. I also think we hate bridges, so... I'm not really you hate bridges? Yeah. Why do you hate bridges? Because I always say they're going to collapse. Uh, going over the longest bridge in England. It's massive. And she's scared of bridges. <laughs> So funny. I tried to take a picture of the two bikes in the middle of the bridge, and obviously there was all this like thudding and shaking going on. A bee legitimately thought the bridge was going to collapse and just burst into tears, like full on proper crying. And the problem with bees crying is it kind of sounds as if she's laughing, so you never really know if she's laughing or crying or doing a mixture of both. So then. I started like laughing quite hysterically and obviously like that didn't go down at all well for obvious reasons. In fact, it turns out she was doing a mixture of both. Oh that was so funny. First proper tears of the trip. They had to come at some point. Oh well it's a relief to be off there. Hey B, how are you getting on? You okay? How was that breakdown there? What were you scared of exactly? You were gonna die. Hey, thanks again, Google Maps. What an absolute triumph! I mean, come on! This is Caroline. She's cycling with us for one hour. That's pretty fun. Always nice to talk to someone else. Very nice to have someone who cycles with all four of our children to school every day, or something like that, so, amazing. Went over another bridge, and she didn't cry. Amazing. We are literally minutes away from our destination. We rode with Caroline, which was excellent, really excellent. But it's extraordinarily exciting to be this close. Much need of a good home cooked meal, I think. Are you exhausted? Yeah, excited? Yeah. Everything? So after a long day cycling through cold wind, rain, on horrible bikes, like what is the first thing that comes to mind? You know what the first thing that comes to mind with me is? A hot tub and some cold ones. Yes please. Well, cheers to you. <laughs> yeah.